Good day everyone! Welcome to another video here in Matterific. If this is your first time here, or been around but not yet subscribed, why don't you consider subscribing and following us? I'm sure that our videos will help you learn more about mathematics and physics. Also, please like and share our videos to let others learn too. So the series of videos including this one is about basic calculus. You will be introduced to what calculus is and like the other mathematics, you'll also know the importance of it to our daily life. By the way, I'm Mr. Jerry G. Opinion or you can call me Surgery and I'll be your guide in learning basic calculus. The basic calculus course is divided into three contents. First is limits and continuity, followed by derivatives, and the last one is integration. But we will be focusing first on what limits and continuity is. Since this is our first video about the basic calculus, let me tell you first the content and performance standard of the limits and continuity in line with the curriculum guide given by the Department of Education. Let's start with the content standard. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the basic concepts of limit and continuity of a function. Next is the performance standard. The learners shall be able to formulate and solve accurately real-life problems involving continuity of functions. For this video, the learning competency is the student shall be able to illustrate the limit of a function using a table of values and the graph of the function. Knowing all those standards, let us proceed to the topic that we have on this video. And it's about introduction of limits. Limit is everywhere. It can be on the highways where most of them have a 60 km per hour as its limit on the speed. Or on some expressways that has a speed limit of 100 km per hour, limit can also be shown on the medication that we took. There's a limit on what our body can intake and when we reach that limit, our body might react on it negatively. The last one example here is very common to most of us. A limit on the data allowance that some of the SIM card providers have on their promos. In each of these situations, the use of the word limit suggests a boundary that may be reached or not, possibly exceeded. A mathematical limit has characteristics similar to those of a physical limit. Limit is a vital idea to learn calculus. It is the analysis of how function values or outputs change when inputs change. Consider the polygon here inscribed in a circle. The polygon is a triangle and it has three sides. There's a big difference between the area of the circle and triangle. Another polygon inscribed in the same circle, but this time it's a square. As you can see, the white part of the circle which represents its area is lesser as compared to the first figure, meaning that the difference between the area of the circle and the square will be much closer. You can also observe that on the following polygons inscribed in the same circle. Based upon this, we can say that as the number of sides of polygon increases, its area approximates the area of a circle. Therefore, the limit of the area of the polygon is the area of circle. So when we say limit in mathematics, it is the value that a function approaches as the input approaches some value. Let us apply the concept of limit by considering the function f of x equals x plus 4. Suppose we select input number x closer and closer to 2, 
and look for the output number x plus 4. Let's observe its table of values and graph. On the table of values, we can see that this inputs approach 2 from the left side, and this inputs approach 2 from the right side. When it comes to the outputs, this one approach 6 from the left side, and this one approach 6 from the right side. Let us now observe its graph. As the value of x approaches 2 in either direction, the value of f of x approaching 6. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 6. We can denote it like this. So this is the notation used for limits. Let us know the function of each part. Let's start with the limb or the limit. This one tells us we're looking for our limit, of, uh, limit value and not the function value. The second one is the x approaches a. This one tells us what the variable is and what it is approaching. The third one is the f of x. This tells us which function we're working with. Remember that it can be g of x or h of x. Then the last one, the letter L. This is the value the function is approaching. So overall, we can read this as the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to L. Let us consider now the function 2x minus 2 over x minus 1. Since the value of the function is undefined at 1, let us find the limit of the function as x approaches 1. But wait, how it became undefined at 1? Simply because when you substitute the value of x by 1, the denominator will be 0. And any number divided by 0, the answer is undefined. Let's observe, uh, let's observe its table. As you can see, for any value of x, the value of f of x is equal to 2, except when your x is 1. So we can identify clearly the limit using the table. Let us observe now its graph. Based on our table, the graph of the function will be like this. There is a gap on the line. It, it, it represents the undefined value when your x is 1. But when we observe it, the gap is at 2. Therefore, the limit of function as x approaches 1 is equal to 2. So in this video, we learned that limit is a fundamental concept in learning calculus. We also learned that limit is the value that a function approaches as the input approaches some value. We also learned that we can use the table of values and graph of a function to determine its limit. And the last one, limit notation is a way to express the limit of a function. Before we wrap this up, let me tell you this quotation first. There are things that we can't work out directly, but we can see what it should be as we get closer and closer to it. That's all for this video. Again, if you want to learn more about this course, do not hesitate to subscribe on us here in Matterific. This is Surgery, and see you on the next video. God bless us all.